Good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you all. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. So glad to be with you all once again. Another midweek uh, motivation for you on today. I want to encourage you once again on this Wednesday. So glad that you are uh, joining me on today. The Bible said, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. And so I just want to start this day with the praise by telling the Lord, thank you for his grace, for his mercy, for his loving kindness towards us, the children of men. God is so good and he continues to bless us and continues to keep us and continue making ways for us. On this morning, let me encourage you to let you know that um, everything that you've gone through, everything you experience and all that you are at this point is because Jesus thought so much about you that he put it on his account. In the book of Philemon, we find that Paul is writing to his brother Philemon about a young man by the name of Onesimus who was a slave or a bond servant to Philemon. He ran away and when he ran away, he came in contact with Paul and Paul accepted him to himself and brought this man to the point where he accepted Christ as his Lord and Savior. And Paul writes back to Philemon and lets him know that he's going to send Onesimus back. But in sending him back, he asked Philemon, please do not receive him back as a bond servant, but above a servant, accept him as a brother, because I could. I, my desire is to keep him here with me, to serve with me, to work in the gospel and the ministry with me. But I know that he uh, owes you because he was a bond servant to you and he did not pay his debt and he ran away. Paul goes so far to say that um, where he was profitable and his running away cost you, he said, please, whatever you do, do not charge him, do not hold it against him, but whatever he owes you, put it on my account. In Philemon 1 and 18, he says, whatever he owes you, put it on my account, meaning that whatever he cost you in his running away and his deserting his responsibilities and him escaping his bond servanthood, and causing you difficulty because he's no longer there to serve and pay off a debt that he owes you. Put the debt on my account. I'll pay you back, Philemon, whatever he owes you. I will be responsible for whatever he owes you. I want to encourage you on today to know that whatever it is that you are in debt to because of what the devil has put on you, what the enemy has caused you, the difficulty that you have gone through, the hardship that you have gone through, Jesus has said to you, don't worry about it. I told my father to put it on my account. I will take care of it. I will pay the cost that it takes. He did it so much to the point where the Bible says that the lashes that we were supposed to get, the 40 lashes that we were supposed to get, Jesus took that on our behalf. He took the beating on our behalf. He took the crucifixion on our behalf because that's something that we were supposed to do because of the sin that we were in. But Jesus took it upon himself to stand in the gap, to be the one to, to pay that cost for us. Now, when you think about that, that means that you're free. You don't have to worry about it because the Father has sent the Son to take care of that expense for you. You can live freely now. You can do what you are supposed to do in the ministry, to minister to someone, to witness to someone, to encourage someone, to uplift someone because you have been freed from that bondage of sin. But you got to trust that Jesus is going to pay for everything for you. He paid it all. The, the, the songwriter wrote, Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, but he washes white as snow. And on today, I want to encourage you to know that you have been washed white as snow. This is your day to walk in your deliverance, to walk in your freedom. You know how it is when you go out to eat, when you go out to dinner, when you go somewhere with a friend and they tell you, don't worry about it, I got you covered. I, I'll take care of your bill. I'll take care of your cost. Don't worry about it. I got it. This is what Jesus has done for us. And this is what Paul was telling to Philemon. Whatever Onesimus has done, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. I'll pay the expense. I'll pay the cost. I'll make sure that he's profitable to you because I will make sure that you're paid back in full everything that you've done. I'm so glad that Jesus paid it in full for me. And do know he's paid it in full for you as well. 
Be encouraged. Share this with someone. Encourage someone. Uplift someone and let them know that Jesus paid it all. And it's all on his account. You owe nothing. Your account is free. God bless you. Love you. Look forward to spending this time with you again on next week. And be encouraged in the Lord knowing that he put it on his account. To God be the glory.